that means everything's in bloom and a lot of pollen and nectar is out there. A couple of things bees love, but with the abundance of food, that means hives are growing and some of the bees are looking for a new home with a new queen. So what do you do if they show up in your yard? Sean Stiles talked with the bee expert on how to have them removed safely in this Earth 8 report. Spring is sprung and Mother Nature's in full bloom, and that means bees are out looking to build a new hive. We talked to a bee removal expert if you've found a swarm at your house. I love bees. I've kept bees since I was 20. This is 44 years. Rex Harvey knows bees and the role they play. There's a pheromone line going. His company, Bee Emergency Bee Removal, has been very busy saving the swarms around San Diego. Very important. No oranges, no avocados with bees. Um, the bees are heavy pollinators. It's during this first stage when bee swarms are the most visible. One day, boom, you just see three, four thousand bees land on a spot and get in it. And it's this time when bees are the easiest to collect and save. Well, we call those our hangers because they're resting before they move into something. That's the best time to save them. Harvey says it's important that the company that removes your bees has a place to put them. Companies like ours, we actually have a place. I have bee yards and bee equipment. The reason the bees are out is because they're looking for a new home for their queen. They like nice, cool floors of sheds, irrigation boxes, chimneys, uh, roof eaves because of the trusses. The houses kind of give off a little bit of warmth every night and they can they can climb right into the block and attach to the plywood. And these swarms should be taken seriously as many wild hives have been Africanized. I just uh, had one three weeks ago in Oceanside and it put the wife and the dog in the hospital and almost killed both of them. These two boxes are actually colonies that Rex removed in the past couple of weeks. And over the next couple of months, they'll turn into a colony like the one you see over my shoulder and start producing honey and pollinating flowers. We'll send it back to you in the studio.